Hi everybody, it's Dr. Lisa Ann Homick from Homick Advanced Chiropractic and we use chiropractic as an important profound way to reteach your brain. Every day your brain is taking in information and it's affecting your body, it's affecting your health and being able to reteach the brain by reaching the brain through that chiropractic adjustment. It's very rewarding, very life-changing and I often talk about how we re-engage the prefrontal cortex so you can have amazing life experiences. I have the three uh, routines that I recommend. Move the brain, feed the brain, talk to the brain. And I talk a lot about moving the brain and feeding the brain and also talking to the brain. But I'm going to just give you a little bit more detail about talking to your brain. How do you do it? You're doing it every day without realizing it, but if you can harness that um, special attribute, harness it and really use it for your benefit. It's, it's amazing. So what are we doing? When I say talk to your brain, I guess we should say teach your brain, but it, it doesn't roll off my tongue as easily. Move the brain, feed the brain, teach the brain. So I say move the brain, feed the brain, talk to the brain. So we're actually reteaching the brain new patterns. And if you remember, I tell you, there is no getting out of pain, but there is getting out of a pattern because pain is purposeful. Pain is necessary to life, even if you don't like it. We've got to understand why it's happening, but pain is purposeful. You can't get out of pain we teach your body how to get out of a pattern if it's something you don't like, if you believe it's not serving you any longer. We get down to the nuts and bolts of that. And what it is, is your fight or flight and your prefrontal cortex have to get back into balance. And that is unique to you. Your nervous system is unique and unlike anybody else's. So this is your own unique balancing act. Two major things to do, calming the fight or flight and re-engaging the prefrontal cortex. That's one, it sounds like a mouthful. And then two, we introduce new learning. How do we do the first step where we're calming the fight or flight so the prefrontal cortex is engaged? That's a big mouthful. Let me tell you some of the ways to do it. Actually, not some, but uh, how to do it in the, there's let me slow down and explain there there are a lot of steps that you do at once uh, you might do more of one than another but these are important together because these are the needs of the body what the body actually needs to remain engaged in your environment so you are doing the things you want to do meeting your goals achieving your uh, ambitions and you need a working brain to do that and over the generations maybe over the centuries we've really misinterpreted the nervous system and I'm introducing you to that by pre presenting the balancing act between the fight or flight and the prefrontal cortex so what do we do how do we calm the fight or flight so we can re-engage that prefrontal cortex? One, number one, routine chiropractic care. Be on a schedule, a schedule of routine adjustments because that's how we reach the brain profoundly because the adjustment just gets that prefrontal cortex activated again. And I've talked about it in other videos and you can you can find some of the other explanations there. Reduce your CANS, C-A-N-S. This is important because it clogs up brain activity. It's too much of a distraction in your life and it's going to wear out your brain. It's going to just exhaust the brain. What are the CANS? C-A-N-S, caffeine, alcohol, nicotine, and sugar. Get right to it. Be honest with yourself and you need adequate sleep. You have to get an adequate sleep routine adjusted back into your life. You probably had a great sleep routine as a baby, but now we've got to 
uh, get back to the basics. Sleep is so valuable. It's so important. The next thing is replenish the minerals and the nutrients that you lose when you're burning through all this energy. And I use Standard Process as my go-to uh, supplement company because they are going to be very bioavailable and they just make sense with nature. Standard Process. The next thing is a ketogenic a diet also going low oxalate. And I pick oxalates on them specifically because they build up in the body and you don't know it. And when you have a lot of chronic pain, I said there's no getting out of pain, you can only get out of a pattern. The um, oxalates, they build up from your diet and they just get everywhere in your body. That's a whole nother lecture, a whole nother talk. You can look up information about oxalates, but the, the best uh, the expert is Sally K. Norton. And I want people to get on a ketogenic diet because it clears out a lot of the junk out of your um, eating day. It, it automatically clears out processed food, fast food, and the other junk that's out there. But we also need to look at oxalates in our vegetables because you may be sensitive to something and uh, you don't know it because we're blaming inflammation. We're blaming all other different avenues, an old injury that didn't heal properly. Well, oxalate buildup could be the culprit and you don't know until you remove it out of your eating for a while and see how you heal. There's no test for it. There's no adequate test. You only have to be honest with yourself about how much oxalate load is in your diet. Continue on. There's, like I said, this is an, an, another separate lecture. Also, gentle exercise. You don't have to go crazy. You just have to get your body moving. And then fasting when appropriate, because that's part of the detoxification process. So these are the ways we calm the fight or flight in order to re-engage the prefrontal cortex. Let's go a little bit deeper now. Now we can introduce new learning. We've calmed the body. We've got, we have a better metabolic day, less demands on the body just by changing these uh, habits and giving the body a fair shot. Now we introduce new learning. Here's what we do. We determine when fight or flight is excessive. If you have a hyperactive fight or flight response, you determine that and um, I teach that. Do the limbic shrinking exercise. I teach that as well. Make expressive writing a daily activity. If you want to know more about that, read the book Back in Control by David Hanscom. Then choose a different way to interact with people. And when you're around a lot of people that are difficult, you, you just have a hard time dealing with them. It starts with you. So interact differently. Choose a different way to do it and I'm gonna leave that up to you. I don't have to do a separate video on that. It's just, um, sometimes we don't want to, right? Right? Uh, Brain First Coaching, also by uh, writing up your own personalized nervous system timeline, and I teach you how to do that. We're looking at your nervous system backwards through time during your childhood, adulthood, and how has your body responded to stress? Because that's how we teach the nervous system so it's ready for future events. And that understanding helps us plan better for our future life. And determine the unusual stress pairings in your life and the re-triggering hang-ups. I use those terminologies in order to help people understand what kind of patterns are they prone to and the pattern that they don't like. Where did they come from? Why is it a re repetitious cycle? You may call it a vicious cycle because now there are patterns that you don't want anymore. They don't serve you 
anymore in your life. So I have this handout in my office that I give out to folks how to talk to your brain and there's asterisks next to each item that is free, no cost to you. For example, uh, getting back into an adequate sleep routine. Free, free, easy access. It doesn't cost anything. And there's a lot of things on here that don't cost anything. So get ready and dive in. Just go for it. Go for it. Thanks for watching the video and look for the next one. And uh, some different surprises are coming up. Thanks for watching today.